This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one and only a father in the bathroom about to go in the shower. Wow! So there was this guy, Breath. Uh, I can't even speak. Breath. Brett. I should leave that because it's funny, right? Should I just leave that? All right, I'll keep going. Breath. <sighs> Brett, like, uh, you know, uh, Brett Michaels. Anyway, so he says... Um, you know, he's worried about me, he thinks I'm losing my mind, all this stuff. I should take a little time off YouTube. He thinks it's getting to me, he thinks it's getting, you know, even to my family. Now, a lot of the stuff that he said was very heartfelt and um, very, uh, you know, genuine. And um, I agree with him. Yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, the the corruption, um, the, the manipulation, it, it's enough to drive anybody a little nuts. But then he says something else. He says that, you know... You provoked Lou first, okay? So Lou had every right to come back at you. Now, here's where me and, uh, not not Breath, okay? Here's where me and Brett Michaels, I'm going to call him Brett Michaels, okay? Here's where we disagree, okay? The way I see it is this. How many times do men fight, right? I mean, street fights, right? I mean, it could be over road rage. It could be over anything, right? You bump into a guy in the supermarket, at the bar, whatever. Who knows? It could be anything, right? A guy makes a freaking comment at you you don't like. You step up to him. Men fight all the time for, for various reasons, okay? But in the history of my whole life on this planet Earth, I have never once seen two men fight and one guy kick uh, his two-year-old daughter in the face or maybe start choking his wife and throw his wife across the supermarket. Have you ever seen that? I've never seen that. <laughs> okay. So in other words, if a man is fighting another man, they fight each other. That's it. If I take a dig at Lou and Lou takes a dig at me, that's fine. That's normal. But when a man, right, takes a dig at someone's family, because they're fighting. Like in other words, so instead of him attacking the man, he attacks the wife or he attacks the children or he attacks someone who he actually has knowledge of that has cancer, okay? So no, no, that's not a man, okay? That's not a man, that's not even a slug. That's just the lowest form of scum on earth, okay? Brett, okay, Brett Michaels. So listen to me, you can't defend Lou. And you know something, I thought you were a nice guy up until that comment. Now I think you're a piece of shit. You are, no, I'm telling you the truth. Because you are going into a category of defending a low life like Lou, you're, see, you don't realize it, but you're defending him. You're you're kind of saying that because I provoked him, he had the right to come back at me. So in other words, you're an advocate of men attacking women who have stage four breast cancer. I mean, I know maybe maybe you're not, but that's the way you said it in your comment. That's the way it comes across. It comes across you are an advocate of it. Okay, listen to me. No one on this earth. Okay, no man. Okay, fights a woman. That's like, it's, it's rule number one. Like when I grew up as a kid, that's the first thing my mother ever told me. You know what my, my, my mother ever said to me? Listen to me. You never ever raise your hands to a woman. You never attack a woman. You don't do that. Okay, men don't attack women, especially women that have cancer. Okay, so, you know, Brett, you should take a week off. Okay, and go relax because you're not making any sense, brother. You know what I mean? And I hope you see this, okay? Okay, you're protecting a man who is attacking a woman with stage four breast cancer. That, but, but you are. But you are because by you saying that I provoked him so he had every right to come back at me. In other words, you're agreeing that what he said to my wife was fine. Like, listen, let me, let me put it to you another way. Can we put it to you another way, Brett? Let's say Lou would have came back at me and he, he would have called me a fat, disgusting you know, low life, uh, meatball, I'm losing my hair, I can't play the piano, I suck, I can't sing, I'm disgusting, I'm this, whatever he wants to say, I'm gonna sue you, you know, I'm gonna take your house, I'm gonna take your car. Look, he used to do all of this in the past and I laughed at it, I found it funny. You wanna even know something, he, even when he called my wife a man, now listen, most people would get upset at that, right? That he called my wife a wildebeest, I'll be honest with you, a part of me left, because it's funny, and I know my wife is not a man, Obviously, <laughs> right? We have two children, okay? Listen to me. I know she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. So I, I find that to be funny, but you got to understand there's a line, Brett. There's a line. 
Once he said that he didn't care that she had stage four breast cancer, he now crossed a line that is just too far. It's like that song by uh, Expose, remember the point of no return? That's what he did, okay? So I'm sorry that you feel differently, but Lou, in my opinion, is the lowest form of scum on earth. I really, like like I said before, like if Lou would fall down a sewer hole in Manhattan, I'd go have a party. You know how he's having a party in Vegas? I'm going to have a party the next time he goes in the hospital. Next time he has to get a shot in his head. Okay, because I think this guy is just, he's a devil to me. He's a devil. This guy to me, honestly, is going to burn in hell. Uh, honestly, he, he needs to go to church. <laughs> okay, seriously, and pray to God before he leaves this earth. To forgive him for the comment he said about my wife. If not, say hello to Lucifer. Okay, because you're going to hell, Lou. You're going to hell. Guaranteed. And that's coming from a Christian. Okay, that's coming from a Christian. Because Christians, are you ready? We don't go around and we don't wish people who have cancer bad. We don't say we don't care about them. Okay, so Brett, let me educate you that you're a Christian, okay? And you you should be ashamed of yourself that you're protecting a piece of shit like that devil, though. You should be ashamed of yourself.